but a cough. <coughs> Dr Brown Bear kind of looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Peppa. Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> 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 Dear, all the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. Dr Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. <sniffs> all the grown-ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, everyone. Caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Stand in line. And open wide. <laughs> it tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye! Poor Dr. Brown Bear. He's ill and there's no one to look after him. Oh! <coughs> Who can that be? Hello! We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah, it tastes like jammy yogurt flavored custard socks. <laughs> Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Can I have a story, please? Okay, I'll read you the Red Monkey book. But we always have that one. The Red Monkey has a bath, cleans his teeth, and goes to sleep. Uh, yes, that is what happens. Can we choose another story? The blue tiger, the green spider, the orange penguin. Oh, what's this one? The wonderful world of concrete. I've been looking for that. Is it your book, Daddy? It's a book I borrowed from the library. What's a library? It's a place you borrow books from. And when you've finished reading them, you take them back. But Daddy Pig has forgotten to take this book back. I have had it for rather a long time. Never mind. You can take it back tomorrow. <sniffs> but now it's bedtime. After Daddy reads this story. It's not much of a story, Peppa. Please read it, Daddy. OK. <laughs> the Wonderful World of Concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Pepper and her family have come to the library. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Pepper, you must be quiet in the library. Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please. Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> the worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa, can we find some more wriggly worms? For your compost tape. What a good idea. Come on, George. Let's find some more wriggly ones. 